Hi everyone, we are going to discuss a unique row in a Boolean matrix. Solve using the try. So first of all, what is the problem statement? So we are giving a matrix uh, having a Boolean expression in it. For example, 0, 1, uh, 0, 0 and 1, 4. So we have to print a unique row of the given matrix. For example, we have a three matrix, uh, three row, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. So we can see here the first row is the exact the same of the third one. So we have to print only the uh, one of them. So this is the this is the uh, problem statement for the unique row in the Boolean matrix. So as we can see here, we print a one one zero one, which is coming two times, but we have to print one time, and one zero zero one is coming one time, so we print as it is. So this is the explanation of uh, this uh, uh, problem statement like we have a three row and in this row we have a two uh, unique row so we have to print one one zero zero one and for the first one and the second one one zero zero one for solving this uh, uh, problem we have to follow this approach firstly we have to create a node uh, trying uh, node but after that if uh, we have to create a function uh, we have to create a function of adding and checking the present uh, of this row in a try or not so after that in the main function we have put a condition if the if row present in a try so we need uh, we need to skip that row if no row is not present in a try we have to uh, insert that row in a try and Put uh, and to push, uh, we can add uh, this row in our answer vector. We can say that we have to uh, add um, uh, add that row in our answer. So let's jump to the code section where we can solve this problem. So this is the problem uh, screen where we have to print unique row of a given matrix. So as I said, firstly we have to create a node. Try node. So now I'm going to create a structure for the same structure. We are giving this structure name as a node. Firstly, uh, we have to create a inter data type where we store the value of a row, for example, one or zero. And we need to create a node array where we have stored the next children of the node. So as we have two options, 0 or 1, we are creating an array node of two uh, element. And we have created a bool, boolean expression uh, row end. So if the, um, if the uh, element, uh, last element of the row, we will uh, make this boolean as a true. So if you don't know how we can implement the tree, just watch the my uh, first video of uh, this uh, playlist. So now creating a node, constructor, storing the value. Data is equal to value, and uh, we have to. Firstly, when we create a new node, we will initialize the uh, node array with a null and the boolean as always be a, a false. So now we update uh, always update our row and as a true as a false sorry. So now, as I said, we have to create a two function: check for present and check for uh, check for present and insert the row. So firstly, I create a row function. Uh, insert row function. So void insert no. column. So I will explain this uh, uh, function when I uh, quote it first. 
int i is equal to 0 i is smaller than column so i this place so int index is equal to error of i this is store the <coughs> array value in it and if root child already root child already uh, carry this uh, value so we just skip that part if not so we have to put that value in free kri a index is equal to new new you can pass array value so if if child if child not if in, in a node the child will not carry the element of that row so we have to uh, add this uh, value at uh, in a tree nodes so we can use this if condition so if value already present so we skip uh, that row uh, that node and jump for looking for next row the uh, next turn index so after so if we insert the all values in the tree so just uh, we are uh, currently in a last uh, value of a row so we need to uh, no, this is the last uh, value of the row, so we have to uh, update row end as a true. So we will know this is the last column value, last column of the row. Now we are going to create a search function. So now just copy this uh, function again, and we create this function for as a bool boolean so we will return if uh, the row is already present so we will return true if not present so we will uh, return false okay so let's uh, same way uh, if null so it means the value is not present so just return false so if uh, if we reach that uh, if we uh, if we uh, retrieve this row so we have to check last uh, root is uh, uh, the last uh, uh, value of the row or not so just return root row end so it will return if this uh, that column value is uh, last uh, mm, we can say that it is the last uh, uh, value of a row so we can re return if yes then true if not so we can return false so we are going we are creating uh, insert functions and uh, add function uh, insert and present function present and insert so now going to code out in our main function firstly we need to create a try node as i said so we need to create a node, node. Note star root is equal to new root. So as I start uh, implementing a true, the root part is always null, always null. So we are now going to initialize our tree from null. So we have to create a vector where we can store our answer. So let's create a for iterative for, for loop for all row with i so for i is more than row i plus plus. So check if the row is already present. So we will skip that row and jump to the next row. If the row is not present in tree, we have to uh, insert that row in our tree. So this logic we can write here. So check first is present. Pass root. 
So we can check that row because the column size. So if not, so we have to insert that row in a tree. So when we insert this row, it means the that row is not present. So we need to uh, store that uh, row in our answer. Vector. Firstly, we need to create a temp vector. Mi, comma, mi. So this is the uh, vector function. We can store a row in the temp, and now we will push that temp in our answer section. Vector answer dot push back ten. So after that, we need to return our answer. In this, so let me compile it first. So it's giving an error as a expected. Oh, we need to replace this loop with node word. Now check it again. Now it's still giving an error. Row end. Okay. Actually, we row end is equal to true. Where we use this word on line 52. In O row root at two root two right root we can compile again. So as we can see here, it's uh, showing our code is correct. Now we have to submit. So now we can see here our test cases is passed. So this is the solution of unique row in bullet metric thank you keep watching this is uh, watching my video